Hi folks and modelers, uh, welcome back to my channel and on this video, uh, this will be chapter part 5 for the uh, you, uh, the Russian Navy uh, Udeloy class uh, Admiral Pantaleev and so uh, my last update was about three weeks ago and so it has been uh, quite some time and progress has been a bit slow but uh, this is how far I got at the moment and I'll run through a little bit of update with you so uh, basically all these uh, superstructures are not glued to the deck yet and it's because I, I would still need to do a little bit more of uh, weathering on the hull. So uh, the structures are almost complete, except for a few more things uh, to be added, like the crane over here. And I have not attached the uh, those uh, fragile things like the mast, because uh, if I glue these pieces on, I will have to press it in, so I need some areas to be uh, open. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to to attach it. So, uh, let me just uh, take this out one by one. Uh, for on this, I have not done anything. And on this superstructure here, I have done a little bit of... Uh, changes. Uh, I think I in my last video I did mention that I was not going to be doing this and closing up this uh, this thing here but I did close it up put a small railing because uh, if this were to be open it would look a bit strange because uh, the crew will be able to walk straight through here and just uh, no railings here so it will they will just they can actually fall down so i've closed this up and cut this piece up here uh, put another piece and put the railings and the thing is uh, when i cut this piece over here uh, I forgot that this piece was a clear piece so when I cut it with the pliers it did crack a little bit because uh, clear plastics are more brittle compared to the, the normal plastics so I've done the same on this side I've done this, added this closed up here, put this railing and I've also uh, added the railings here because I saw in the photos of the real ship there is a railing here and I've put up some extra railings here to to make it look like a like a beam supporting this platform here on the even on the side here and also on on this side so it looks a bit more realistic so uh so that's the things that i've uh, done extra on this and i've already taken out all the maskings uh, touched them up and actually this is clear but it looks black because the inside is uh, is black and over here, these windows, when I unmasked it, I saw that uh, it's already painted. So I, I probably made a mistake when I painted from behind. I did not realize there's a window here. So the windows uh, looks like it's covered. But doesn't really matter because uh, you can't see anything inside. There's nothing inside. But you can see the difference in the color. This will look black and this looks uh, grey Probably with a curtain or some kind of a shade But I think it looks okay So uh, this is 
this part here I've done that and on this uh, this is the funnel piece I've already uh, I think this is this is complete uh, with real wings I'll probably have to paint this uh, float in red so I've not done that same goes on the other side and then uh, okay so underneath I've cleaned up the all the ejector pin marks so on this kit there is a lot seriously a lot of uh, ejector pin marks and you will have to clean them up because it can be seen so this piece here these two funnels are not uh, are not glued yet so this one nothing special about this funnel and then on this uh, in my previous update I did not I haven't done this so this one I have completed it uh, added railings uh, all the guns this thing here so yeah this was a bit quite difficult to do and then uh, these pieces are also not glued yet so I'm gonna take them out and over here I have added these uh, railings over here and at the back here uh, this this is an uh, entire structure by itself so I think in the last update I, I was, it was halfway so now it is, it is complete and I have uh, opened up these doors for the helicopter base and also uh, this uh, roof here so this, these are the replacement PE parts and it's not the uh, plastic parts so the other side is closed and then uh, I ran into some issues uh, with this structure here because when I was about to add on all these parts here I realized that this piece uh, it was still in grey and when I checked the photos it's, it's, uh, it's orange here so I had to mask everything it was a uh, quite a difficult masking job. I had to mask all the edges and the other side here. And I have actually glued this piece already, so I had to mask it. Otherwise, it would be much easier to do this piece, uh, this piece masking. And I had to mask the inside and everything. So. Uh, this is how it looks like. I'll still need to add the uh, this photo edge on the helicopter deck here, which I have not done. And then there will be all the the railings, or I don't know what you call that, the fence. And also, uh, even though I have cleaned up the all the ejector pin marks. Um, there were still holes over here because uh, the holes were for these uh, parts to stick in so I have um, uh, putted it and, but I have not cleaned it yet so I have to clean it up uh, repaint them and same goes for here there were some uh, gaps here so I putted the entire thing so I'll clean this uh, paint this <clears throat> put the photo edge and uh, probably I'll do these railings once it's on the deck. So uh, this is done. And uh, on the hull, um, I have actually done a bit of a weathering, but uh, I think maybe it can be weathered more. And I've also painted here in black. Uh, put in some rust marks but uh, but it still looks a bit clean so maybe I might want to do more uh, weathering to this 
or maybe it's just the lighting. Uh, actually, it looks quite, quite dirty. But because of the reflection, might not look so dirty. So I've also uh, tried to weather the deck a little bit. But somehow it still looks uh, very clean. Uh, some rust stains here. So I'll try to weather this up a bit and then uh, all the structures will go on top. And uh, I've also finished, completed this uh, one of the mast. And it, it is a uh, it's actually very fragile. So I and I painted it in black. So I think this was uh, quite difficult to do. Uh, only the tower is the plastic remaining, and the rest of the pieces are all in uh, photo edge. And it's quite interesting because. Uh, you can actually see the the feed horns on the antennas and it's quite detailed. So this mast is uh, is done and but there is another mast and I've only managed to do up until the towers and cut out all those uh, plastic pieces. So this mast will be probably my last uh, things to do. Then uh, on this little tower here, I've added these railings here. There is no railing instructions that came with the PE, but in on the real ship, I've seen railings. So I took these, which is supposed to be for the for the platform. Uh, over here, so I took that photo edge for for this one. So, uh, so that is done. So the rest will be all this. Uh, this is the missile parts which will probably go there. So I think the rest of it is uh, almost complete, and. These are the photo edge for the mast, the second mast. And also, once I've uh, attached all the structures, I'm going to be doing the railing on all the edges of the ship. And, and then do riggings uh, on the superstructure and the mast. That would be probably last. So... Yeah, so I think uh, that's how far I've got. Not too much uh, progress. Things have been quite uh, busy lately because uh, since the uh, after the opening of the lockdown, uh, you know, life life is back to normal and less time for modeling. So, yep, uh, progress is uh, not too good on the models. There are more things to be taken care of in life. So uh, yeah, this is it for my uh, update this time. And I think uh, in my next build, uh, in my next update, I think the, the ship will probably be complete, but I, I don't know until which uh, level. At least I'll have all the structures uh, attached. But I'm not sure if I can make it in time to do all the riggings and uh, antennas and stuff like that. Uh, the final uh, pieces on the ship. So until then, I uh, hope you stay tuned and I'll come back for hopefully my last chapter. Uh, maybe in one or two weeks. So until then, uh, happy modeling. Uh, take care and cheers. Bye for now.